Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies. And I'm BJ. And today we are taking a look at part four of our all new Riri Super Dog Fighter 870C. Yep. And we've got most of it built. Most of see. it. It's pretty much a rolling chassis now. And we're just going to concentrate on the body mounting. Yeah, so we've got to put the body on and yep. we're going to put the electronics in. Yes. Haven't we? We have. So we're going to give the servo mounting a miss this time. Well, I've got no servo with me to mount. Yeah. But so, I do have a new nine steps prototype LiPo. Okay. So I'm going to stick that in there. Yep. So that's going to look pretty. It is, isn't what it? What are you doing? You, do, you get cutting. Oh, where's the under tray? You're going to do the under tray? I'm doing nothing. Oh. I'll do some screwing on of some wing mounts. Where's the, where's the cutterers? The, have you got the straight cutterer? I've got the finest from Biddy Design. Right, How so good I'm are these? This. Biddy Design straight and curve. All right, let's get into it. Straight and curve? Straight scissors and curve scissors. Straight How scissors. How sharp are they? Pretty sharp. Oh, don't be so mean. So there are some. Sorry about the Oh, look at that battery. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Check a look. Does it fit all right? Yeah, oh, it's gorgeous. It's like a cat. All right, so let's look at this. Trim this. I'm using these straight scissors. I just can't help myself. You can't, can you? Oh! I thought it was oversprung, but it's getting better now to be a little bit of weight, weight in it. Oh, look at this pre-bent wing wire. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the Cutty McStabby. McStabby? Is that alright? Yeah, if you want to. Alright, so I'm just cutting the skirt off. Oh! It's pretty easy the to cut the skirt off first, because it's just pretty much a straight edge. You can't and say then, that. Can I? Are you going to put holes in it? Oh, well, we should. Oh, look, I put the body clips on. Oh, yoke them they just do everything classy, even the body pins. Super, thanks for asking. Oh, let me just cut around here. That can be a bit tricky with all those edges. Clear that whole skirt off first, and then we'll do a little bit of oh. trim trim. What's happened here? Who's had me two mil? Nan, Nan's been into my toolbox again when I wasn't looking. I used a two mil before, but it should still be here. Hmm. Is it gone? No. I just had to look with both eyes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, oh, yeah, I guess so. Sometimes. Are your eyes just painted on? Well, funny you should mention that. I feel like my eyes are painted on sometimes. Are they? It feels like it's harder and harder for me to see. Well, that's just old age. Isn't it? I wouldn't know. I'll let, I'll let you know when I get there. That's right, you've still got a few years yet, haven't you? Old age? Yep. I'm the original Peter Pan. Are oh, you now? Yeah. I refuse to grow up. I'm getting old, but I'm not growing up. Now, All right, so I've pretty much got the skirt. I have no off. idea that I'm doing this right. Why? Well, because I'm just... No, this is meant to be forward facing. There you go. Really? Yeah, they're forward facing. What? That's a bit awkward. Because it's, it's U-shaped. Is it? Yes. Oh, I, can... I need some curvy scissors. Here you go. Got some curvy scissors, thank you. Now, how's this going to work? So... With great gusto. Maximum downforce. I hope I'm working out this right. Might help if I check the manual. Is that a thing? The manual? Mm. Could be. Don't know, I'm just going a bit gung ho. You're going gung ho? Because. We're going gung ho now. Because you've got the manual. Haven't I? So I'm just like. Just screwing things in, eh? Just screwing things in. Any old which way. No, nah, I've got nothing to screw. I'm making myself seem busy. I'm just getting these lined up actually before I. Before what? No, no, because if I had have done this straight, like I thought, I wouldn't be able to actually get to the grub screw. So I actually have to do them at a bit of a funky angle. Funky. Do you know what I mean? Just to clear the wing wire. In fact, I'll probably do it side on so it actually clears the wing. Sideways? Yeah. Side on, buddy, side on. That's always known as sideways action. All right, so back end's almost done. Put a bit of a 
grub screw in there. Look at this. I really do not miss wing wires. Yeah, wing wires is an old school thing, isn't it? When, when do they stop making or well, using wing wire? Would have been way after the ace scales came out, right? When they started those those really heavy duty molded wing mounts. Mounty bits. Yeah. I reckon. I tend to agree. But all right, so this is the back end sort of chopped up. We will um, adjust it as we go because we might need to trim a bit more off it. Beautiful machine. I have to say, when I was cutting bodies, mm. when this came out, there wasn't such a thing as these curved scissors. But when Tamir had them, I was like, wow! Really? Yeah. Tamir knew a thing or two about cutting bodies, huh? They did. They did. Because Tamir tools actually not been a really available thing in Australia. What, and you say they are now? Oh, well, they are. Relatively, compared to the way they used to be. That's the way it used to be. <laughs> I'm breaking into a bit of song and dance. Aren't you? You're quite, you're quite musical today, aren't you? Am I? Yeah. I don't feel it. I don't know why. Why is that? I'm emotional. Are you? When I get emotional, I get musical. Ah. Now, is there longer screws and washers for this wing? I'm not exactly sure how it actually mounts. Uh, I don't know. So these I've, I've mixed up the, all the screws now. These will go Shall from I the, look at the manual? These will go from the bottom, I assume. And I reckon I need 3x8s or 3x10s. Here we go. On the bottom is a 3x6. 3x6, little ones. 3x6 uh, grub screw. Good. Have you got those in there? Grub screw? Yeah, grub screw. What are you talking about, grub screws? Yeah, grub screws. So what goes in the, the wing wire then? Oh, look, I've completely cocked that up. The wing wire? What goes in the little nubs? There'll be, there'll be screws on that, I reckon. Okay. Well, I thought that they would be grub screws, and these ones would be... No, they're screws into the, um, the mount. Three by Three six? by fives. Three by fives. Little shorties. Short shorts? Yep. Woo, pretty thick here. Not as thick as some. Oh, I can't believe they use odd sized screws like 3x5s. No? They used to have tiny uh, button head screws for that. Did they? Hmm. Well, they should have now. My first Yokomo was that old. It was built in Imperial. Yokomo was never in Imperial. Shows what you know. How come yours is Imperial? What happened there? I think it was an American kit. Oh, I wouldn't have thought they'd change the hardware. No, I'm kidding. Oh, you're a Josher. Uh, Josh, Josh. Can't believe you fell for the old. Well, I'm, I trust you. I'm not going to trust Did you anymore. You? I wouldn't trust me. <laughs> no, it's going to take years for me to regain that trust. <laughs> you there you go, it. there's a body. Can I put some that's a rough. That's a rough cut. What'd you call me? Rough cut. Okay. All right, let's do the under tray now, eh? Do you think that they've got the holes in the right spot? <laughs> With well, Japanese precision. They should. Now, this is my favourite Rima, this one. How am I going to make sure I get this right? You're not. Don't want to, don't want to cock this up. There, that is in the instructions. What is? A section on the under tray. Is there? Yeah. In the, is, is there a bit the, on the addendum? Yeah. Oh, is there? I'm not sure what it says. I've not screw is used for the bumper. Okay, it's just the bumper screws which are changed there, but the cutting's all the same. So the let's just follow all, all this. The same. You know what they say? What? Once cut, once cut, twice shy. Really? Measure twice, cut once. That's an old saying, isn't it? Luckily, I don't cut much. No measurements, no mistakes. That's what I say. <laughs> no such thing as mistakes, just in opportunities to improve stuff that may or may not be right. I 
Yeah. Well, it's, it's the best way of making something unique, isn't it? I make everything unique. Is that what you're trying to say? It's called, it's called personal interpretation. Who's going to be the first one to run an 870C without an under tray? We had an under tray? Are you crazy? Wow, that's what the cool kids used to do. Well, they were mad. Really? Yeah. Because then you get a chassis full of grit. Chassis. And it ends up in your belts. And you get all those funky wear lines in your belts. That's and right. then eventually they break apart and you've got two belts. That's part of the Yokomo experience. What have I done here? It looks more buggy now. Does it? What have you done? Oh. Your wingage. More buggy. More buggy than we've had before. Alright, so let's just do the chop, 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 chop. Oh, you want to do the wing? Oh, you got curse scissors there? Definitely need curse scissors for the wing. Yeah, have you seen me cut? I have. I wouldn't let me cut. Well, sort of, I've regained my trust in you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's misguided. Isn't it? I'm going to cut off the majority first. These are, these are actually nice and sharp, these scissors. These must be fresh. Usually when I've been cutting hinge pins and stuff with them, and music wire. <laughs> hinge pins. <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, and music wire. Yeah. Is my other favourite thing to cut yeah, with scissors. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's one of the best tests of um, tools, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Music wire test. Yes. Yes. I'm sure that's how Yamaha develop all their pianos and tools. Is it? Yeah. Because music wire is one of those things that is guaranteed to mark any tool. Well, only if that, you... that's, that's why it's become a standard. The, the WTS. <laughs> the W testing standard. That's it. <laughs> yeah? That's it. Yep. Oh, that's no good. It only does four and a half mil. <laughs> <laughs> Do it with your teeth. Oh. These are crap. These are pretty good because they've only left a little mark. That's right. Yeah. Throw these in the bin. Do you know why I'm really happy to be cutting the wing out on this? Why? Well, because I'll be able to say that I did something. Oh, really? I'm not being very, like the tongue's out and everything, you know what I mean? Yep. I'm not being much of a personality at the minute. Because cutting... It looks like we're running out a bit of time. So what do you want me to do? I don't know. We'll just run late. I would. We could cut this on the live show. Well, we could. No? We could. We could do a little bit of hand finishing. We'll just make the, the live bit later, eh? They always say that about you. What? That you love to finish by hand. <laughs> no? It's the best feel. Should I have said that? I can't see the guidelines now. Oh, here we go. Put your Optrix 5 on. I'm just doing little nibbles like a beaver. Nibble, nibble? Like a beaver. Like a beaver. On a big chunk of wood. Right. Have you seen the way they suck us gnaw through? Suck a what? You know. Num, 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 num. <laughs> num, nums. You know. <laughs> don't you reckon? Well, I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. You're not too familiar with your beavers? No. No. Well, not, not, not the bitey ones. Really? Your beaver's got no teeth, obviously. I mean, they're safer that way. Clearly. Don't know how he gets through wood, though. Just gums it. Gums his way through the wood. And nothing wrong with that. <laughs> A gummy wood. I think, I think your beaver needs attention. <laughs> your beaver needs attention. Oh, I just take it to the dentist. All right, I just got the back end to do. Well, that's inappropriate, you can't say that. Where is the cut mark for there? That's there, I think. Is it? You've cut one of these out before. Yeah, yeah like, like 40 years ago. Back when you could see. I used to be able to see really well, except long distances. And, and now I can't see long distances or short distances. And medium you... distance isn't, isn't going too well either. What, you just haven't tried? What? Maybe you just haven't tried. Oh, I reckon I've tried. Oh, 
What's up, Skip? Let's see. Let's see. What are we up to? Let's see if we can trim this off. How's it going for you? Oh, we're getting there. So you're going to say, who the hell did this wing? And say, I did it. Why? It does look like it's been chewed. A little... <laughs> Yeah. Does it? It's like a beaver with no teeth had a go at it. <laughs> <laughs> just gnawed his way through it. Uh, Hasn't even used a knife and fork. Oh, there he goes. No knife and fork? No. Chopsticks. Did you say no cutlery? Nothing wrong with chopsticks. That's my favourite cutlery. Is it? Yeah. Can you still call it cutlery? There you go. This is uh, the young tray. What would you, you wouldn't call it crockery. So this needs another hole in it. Well, another three actually. So we've got the front bumper holes there. There you go. If only we had somebody who actually was going to do a good job. If, if only. How are we going to paint this thing anyway? Here's someone you oh. prepared oh. earlier. Oh! <laughs> I don't want you bastards touching that. What? Because you'll do a crap job. Oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> Fair enough. Speaking the How truth, aren't you, Tony? Tony G? It's, it's only fair enough that I should be the one that paints this. Okay. I think so, because it's going to be a bit of a hero car for Hearns mm. and for Yokomo. Indeed. Yokomo Indeed. Australia very much, because this has been the number one car. And it's the first ever re, re that took them, what, 35 years to come to the party? And I've never, even though I've painted hundreds of cars, I've never painted a dog fight. Oh, really? Oh. So this will be the first. No, it's even got even a little when, scuba thing on it. Even when I was doing them, like, pretty much full time. I never got a dog fighter to paint. Oh, so they didn't trust of, you? No. No? I was a bit of a Kyosho man back then. Oh, I washed your mouth out. That, that's okay. There was that's plenty a, around. Well, prior to that, I was a shoemaker man. <laughs> oh. Oh, How'd was, you get I've, through that? Yeah, I had therapy. <laughs> I had one at one stage. I've touched that. Yeah, mm. you've touched a lot of things. You I have, done. haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't changed. So, I'll be cutting that, finishing the cutting that you're on there, although you've done most of it. I've done most of it, yeah. It's, it's been, been a little bit of a hack job. But a, little. A, little bit of a, a little bit of a tidy up. Mm. Well, fantastic, Tony Gray. Tony Gray is going to do this. So you'll be back for part five, which will be the grand reveal, somewhat. Yeah. I suppose in the meantime, Beach, we could go ahead and put electronics in this. Well, you can do. Yeah. What so do we'll you finish think? off the chassis. Yeah. So we'll finish off the chassis. We'll put electronics in it. Mm. We're still sort of undecided whether we go brushed or brushless, aren't we? I, I reckon brushless. Why not both? Both. Yeah. You, re you reckon brushless? I think so. Yeah. Well, hopefully there's a there's a speed controller with its name on it coming. Yes. Uh, well, hopefully. After next week. Walker. Well, mm. yes, yes, definitely. Fantastic, Tony Great. Well, Done. thank you, and thank you everybody for joining us. Yoink. <laughs> that yes. is gone. Three are you going to paint the wing, or are you going to be trendy clear? Wing comes too. Yeah. And yeah, under, yeah. under carriage. Under carriage, leave it. Oh, clear. Leave it clear. Old school. We can leave it clear, or I can just do it a sing. You can do it a single colour later, but I mm. don't, think, don't think that's important. Oh, okay. I never, I okay. Never under Trace Dean. Put so much dead. There you go. We, you've, we've been told. <laughs> we've been told. <laughs> you've been told very <laughs> effectively been. too. Thank you very much, right. Tony Gray. I'm Brett from Hearns. You are BJ. I am. And that is part, part four, four of our Yokomo Super Dogfighter re-release build. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Ooh.